guys, welcome, it's Heidi. I'm back today for another handbag review. Um, today I want to show you a bag that I purchased from KMM and Company. Um, this is a leather maker from Georgia. It happens to be one of my favorites. Um, this, this team does great work. All kinds of leathers are sourced. They're always getting new things. Um, but anyway, I went ahead and got this one. And this one is called Distressed Ochre. I love the color. I love the variation, the pull up in this leather. Um, you've probably seen my other review. Um, I've actually had a, a few. I've had Cypress. I actually still have Cypress. And I still have my Tan Kodiak, which was one, it's one of my favorite totes, one of my favorite leathers. But I didn't have anything from that company that was more structured. So this is a more structured leather. It just holds its shape a little bit better when you sit it down. It doesn't have that, you know, that puddle or anything like that, which it just depends on what you like. I'm kind of in between like super sloppy and stiff. Like I like a semi-structured bag and I think this one suits that description to a T. It's just perfect um, because it's still soft. It still has very soft leather. Like it's not that stiff, hard leather at all. It's very soft and it's, it's softening up more as I use it, but it still has enough structure that it's just very easy just to sit down on the floor. You know, I usually don't do that, but anyway, to get to my point, um, this one, this particular color, Distressed Ochre, was part of their um, bundle that he offered for Thanksgiving, I believe. Thanksgiving, maybe it was for Christmas, I don't know. All the days are running together for me recently. But anyway, um, this one came as part of a bundle deal where you get the free clutch to match. So, and actually I didn't jump on this when it was first released. Um, I actually bought this from the KMM and Co. BST on Facebook. It's a page where, you know, everyone gathers to talk about bags and things like that. But anyway, um, a lady had ordered this one and she, um, didn't like a few things about it. This particular leather, and I'll, I'll read you what, you know, kind of what they say, is it's typical for this particular type of leather to have range marks, scratches, and spots, or what they call freckles. So that's very typical for this type of leather. Um, but hers, this one um, that she received, she just didn't really particularly care for those lines. Let me see if I can get close and let you see. See those those lines right there? And there's there's a few in here. Um, that's what she didn't care for. Um, there's one right there. She didn't like that and that's totally, I get that. Like I'm picky too, but that doesn't bother me with this type of leather. I actually kind of like it, but I mean, if it was a big, ugly spot in the front or something like that, but that's just basically like a scar, a wire mark or something like that. And then here's the spots. There's like little freckled areas on there. I think this leather is amazing. It's so stunning, like it's gorgeous. And I know I say this so often, but this might be one of my favorites. Like I love this leather. And I can already tell just from carrying it that it's going to be the type of leather that develops that um, that shine from where it's been like constant like friction against rubbing against your clothes, and it's already getting like a little shiny spot on it. I'm, I'm gonna try to get that on there. Do you see that little shiny spot on there? That is just from like use from it rubbing against my clothes. And I'm just trying to imagine how gorgeous this bag would be with them like an all over patina like that. I think it would be amazing. But anyway, let me keep going. Um, this is described as a smooth grain matte finish. Um, yeah, it's very, it's very smooth. Um, it does have some texture though, because I can tell from the piece that I have, the hide that I have on my clutch is very textured. You can see that it has some, some texture on there, whereas the back is more of the smooth grain. 
but overall I would call this a smooth leather. So um, it's not like it doesn't have like the velvety type feel, um, maybe just minimally at first. And I mean very minimally, like it's, it's mostly just smooth and I feel like it's gonna have a really gorgeous sheen. So, and this has the high contrast pull up. As you can tell, it has all of the different, um, the highs and lows are absolutely stunning on this bag. So if you pinch the leather, it will change color or drag your fingers on the inside of the bag. It will disperse those oils and cause some, um, some light effects to pull through. This bag is the classic. So it's 13 inches in height, 14 inches in width, and it has a six inch depth. Um, the handles are customizable. This one, um, you can actually change the color of them um, for free. Um, that's, that's a free option. And you can change the handle drop for, um, there's a fee for that. But it's not, it's not crazy expensive or anything like that. But this is what they call their standard drop, which is a seven inch drop. But I'm just gonna verify that because I do have a tape measure. And this is what I've always found. I, I don't know exactly how to properly measure this, but as you can see, this is like right at nine. I need to verify that with her though, because I didn't actually verify that, but I just assumed this was standard drop because it does seem kind of short, but that's, that's my preference. Their standard drop is my preference. Um, that's not the case across the board with other companies, I just really like K&N's drop to be short for some reason. I think the bag's kind of large and I like it up higher on my body versus hanging low. I think it makes it look more balanced with my body for some reason. I don't know. Everybody's got their taste and preferences on handle drop. Okay, so um, yeah, I went through the dimensions and you can opt for nine, 10 or 11 inch drop on this. And then also there's other options like this, for example, was not standard. Um, you can have a snap closure added. So I love the snap closure and going forward, any bag that I order from K&M, I'm gonna order the snap closure just because, and I really wish my tan Kodiak had it, but it doesn't, and my Cypress doesn't either. So anyway, that's something that I really have enjoyed with this bag. It's a nice solid um, snap. And then the interior of the bag, this is all one piece construction. So you can see how that's folded in. What that means is this bag is going to, it doesn't have a lot of stress points. Like if it had a seam along the bottom, that's gonna be a stress point. So by it being one solid piece of leather, this is gonna you know, pretty much guarantee that this bag is gonna last a lifetime. Um, one other thing that this bag had added that I don't order on my bags is the crossbody option with the grommets. It doesn't bother me that it's there. I would never ever carry this bag crossbody. It's just, it's too, it's too large for that for me. I just, I don't know, for some reason, I just don't prefer to carry large bags crossbody. But anyway, everybody has their own taste. Um, the interior of the bag has, all of the classic bags have this really neat little bar of leather that's attached with rivets. Um, they suggest that this could be used for uh, sunglasses, um, which I think would be great. Um, and then another thing that I've seen people use this for is to hang like the little bottles of hand sanitizer that have a little um, loop at the top. I think that would work great. Or even your keys, you can clip a key ring onto this. And then the other side has a really generous slip pocket. So that's a really nice, um, Really nice depth on that, it's really generous. So, and then the interior, I had someone ask me about the interior. Sometimes when you get a structured or a semi-structured bag, I should say, your interior will be um, not really super, that soft, suede feel. I've had ones that literally feel like sandpaper, but this one does not. This has a really nice, soft, smooth interior. Like it's, it's not the type that feels, ugh, like you don't even wanna to touch it. Like this one is super, super soft, really nice. 
And um, let me look. At, let me just show you the clutch. The clutch isn't available anymore, um, unfortunately, because but it is a really nice little little piece. If you come across one of these, like on Poshmark or the buy sell trade, it's just a really nice little. It's it's really nice quality. It's the same leather, and then the interior has it just has one little snap closure with one um, slip pocket, and my iPhone. 13 Pro Max fits in this, which is very nice. And then there's a little slip pocket behind as well. So it's a nice little clutch. It would be a nice little piece just to, you know, throw inside the bag to a little catch all, or if we're going to the grocery, just to grab this out really quickly. Um, I'm sure they have other things available that you can purchase that are similar to that. And then again, also keep an eye out because a lot of times they'll include things like that in the bundle around the holidays. So I'm gonna try this one on for you just to see how it looks on five foot by foot. Okay, so I have the back on my shoulder now. Um, I definitely feel like this is definitely the shortest drop. Um, even though it measured a little bit longer than seven inches, my tan Kodiak does too, which is the standard drop. So this is definitely a standard drop. Feels very comfortable still. Um, plenty of room. It's not like it's riding up under the arm or anything like that. So. I feel like it's very comfortable. Um, I don't have anything in it right now, but with the structured type of leather, it really doesn't change that much. What you carry inside doesn't change like the shape of it that much. So you can still kind of see how it stands out from the body. It doesn't stand too terribly far out. Very comfortable, um, very spacious bag. I don't carry a ton of things, but in which if you did, I could imagine it would be kind of heavy because this is a very substantial leather. So, okay guys, that will do it for this review of the KMM Distressed Ochre Classic Leather Bag. Um, if you have any questions about um, any of the KMM products that I have, I'd be glad to answer. And I appreciate you watching and have a great day.